In this example, I'm going to show you guys how to factor this trinomial when you have a number in front of x squared that is not 1. So there's a trick called slide and divide. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3 and we are going to slide it over here to the very last term and we're going to multiply those two together. When we do that, we're going to be left with x squared plus 7x and then positive 2 times 3 is positive 6. Now we can do what two numbers? So here we go. What two numbers can we multiply by that give me 6? But when I put those two numbers together, it gives me 7. Well, I know I can do 6 times 1 is 6. That will work for this guy. And if I do 6 plus 1, that will give me 7. So those are my two numbers I need to use in my factors here. So 6 and 1. So we have done the first step. Now the second step is to divide. We need to take this 3 and use it one more time. We're going to take this 3 and we're going to divide it by the numbers we used in our factors. And then let's see if we can reduce anything. Let's look at our first factor here. Can I reduce 6 divided by 3? Yes. 6 divided by 3 is 2. However, can I reduce one-third in the second term or the second part of the problem here? No. So if you can't reduce, you just simply take this little 3, and we're just going to put that guy right there in front of the x. And so now we are going to check, and let's see if our answer down here or our two factors at the bottom equal up to the original problem that we had up here, 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. So let's check ourselves. Here we go. Let's do our multi-distribution. Let's start here. 1x times 3x is 3x squared. 1x times 1 is 1x. Positive 2 times 3x is positive 6x. And then positive 2 times positive 1 positive 2. We want to combine like terms. And when we do that, notice we get the same thing we started with at the top, which means these two terms are completely factored. Now, those are my factors. What if I actually wanted to solve for the value of x? So we're, we are going to create two equations here. So we'll have x plus 2 equals 0. That's this guy right here. And then we will have 3x plus 1 equals 0. And we will simply solve for x. So just subtract 2. On the left-hand side, x equals negative 2. But if you look at the guy on the right-hand side, it's going to take us two steps. We are going to have to subtract 1. negative 1, and then we are just simply going to divide by 3, divide by 3, and it's okay if we get fractions or decimals. So these would be the two answers for x when this trinomial is set equal to 0.